Gilbert. Thought about it. Purvis from the left side. That one rattles in. Kind of worked on their 1-3-1 offense in the, in the, in the shoot-around this morning. He want to beat it by the pass, not off the bounce. Rodney Purvis from the left wing. Can't get it to go. It's honest. And score the ball down low. And so far, they've struggled with that part of their game offensively. Rodney Purvis, Purvis, and Brima on the floor. Gilbert kicking. Here goes Rodney Purvis. Teardrop and gets it to go. Purvis working around the high ball screen. Rolls back out. Purvis from the right side. Up on 20 seconds, Jalen Adams kicking back. Rodney Purvis can't get it to go by Gilbert. Along the baseline, Rodney Purvis has it knocked away. Larry are wide open, thought about it, didn't take it. Rodney Purvis working off the dribble. I'm not sure Kevin's going to love that shot. And Rodney Purvis. There's a sweet jumper by Rodney Purvis right on cue. Murphy stays with it, and then he's blocked by Larrier and a run out. Here comes Rodney Purvis attacking the rim, and Rodney Purvis now with five points for Connecticut. That tidbit, though, <laughs> I, I knew you'd provide some quality info. Shot clock winding down. Rodney Purvis short on the three. Shot clock at five. There's Purvis in rhythm, but it won't go down. Tied at 36. Purvis step back as the shot clock is winding down. Big shot by Rodney Purvis. With just under 14 to go here in the second half, and Alex Murphy has just one bucket. Rodney Purvis lines it up, Kent. And I think that's the big question. Who wants the ball in their hands? There's Purvis, long three. Under 10 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Kirsten Pavilion, campus of Loyola Marymount, as Purvis to lead. UConn, just under 13 points a seat. Rodney Purvis putting it on the deck, floating it in off the window. And a chance at a three-point play for Rodney Purvis. On the arc as Rodney Purvis looks to complete the three-point play and another missed foul shot. Shot clock under 10. Rodney Purvis, he can shoot it from deep range, but that one will not go down. Four points for Shamar Johnson. The team captain for Loyola, Terry Larrier, lines it up. I take it back, it was Rodney Purvis. Seems and those and those gaps, but often doesn't take it deep enough. Mid-range jump shot, Rodney Purvis there's Without him on the floor, how does it change the way Connecticut goes about their business? Well, they, first of all, it gives them one less ball handler, which they've really struggled against Loyola's. Left shoulder, it is back in place now, but as you can see, he's in street clothes and will not be returning to tonight's game, guys. Thank you for the update, Taylor, as Rodney Purvis right to the goal. Points for Mike Dunlap's team as Loyola Marymount extends the lead back to six. Rodney Purvis can't get it down, you see. And Amita Brima on the floor as we come up on nine minutes to go here in the second half. Purvis still cannot get it to go down. Down game, and when you go to the basket, you had better be prepared for some contact. Purvis got some contact, doesn't get the call with an injury. Purvis handling the ball now, but Adams has been doing a lot of the ball handling as Purvis misses the layup. Through from VCU, very important guy, averaging coming into the game 16 points. And now they're without Larry. And Larry is their best player. Has to make and not the right angle. And Rodney Purvis got away with the walk there. He planted his pivot foot and then changed it. There's Jackson. the back door. There's the back door cut and the slam for Purvis. Beautiful find of the bounce pass from Jackson. And, and caught all ball. He just went. Adams, nice look. Purvis for three. Got it. That's when he can take a little bit of a step back, but misses the second. And that last possession was exactly who Jawan Evans is all the time. I mean, he can really use a ball screen, makes great decisions to pull up and knock down that shot. And you can see Enoch there was the big man at the line, Purvis. A lot of the use of ball screens is pace. They're going to cause people a lot of problems. Shot clock turned off. Deep one for Purvis. 
Matthews. You know you've thrown a bad pass when a 5'11 guy picks it off when you're lobbing for a big guy. Herb is too easy all the way to the bucket. Brad Underwood is up off his seat, not happy with that. Come over his left shoulder, and you are absolutely going to have to foul him to keep cramping that, uh, that yeah, looks like Phil it. Forte is going through. And this is something you see every now and again. Really playing strong. He's got a great look on his face in this game. After a workout in July, the official cause of death. Hurts in a larger size for him. <laughs> we can get him more. Four year course. Will you, will you stay in your lane, sorry. <laughs> you want to call a play? <laughs> Purvis. Yes. Next game. Oh, about 25 minutes from now, and you can see it on ESPN2. It's on Kieran Shastri, the senior his first. As the floater in the key, too strong from Rodney Purvis. That would be a neat trick. That's the future. Here's Purvis from long range. Shabazz Napier. Long three from Rodney Purvis. Rodney Purvis, the transfer from NC State. Oh. After forward we talk about leaps up we talk about the, the great pause oh. and here he comes this is a, a young looking freddie brown Purvis, three penetration and dish college basketball Purvis launches wow it's it done for yukon so rodney purvis one of two at the line today back there huh who Poe O'Keefe. Gilbert. The spiraling, spinning dolphins. Era also promised me a special papaya. Purvis on the attack. And the floater in the lane. Wow. And Rodney Purvis gives UConn the lead. Take history every time I sit next to you. Set your standards higher, please. Rodney Purvis. Got it. Long two. And the rebound controlled by Pacey and UConn. Rodney Purvis, way short. He was looking for a foul. New NBA and what a league it is. My gosh, so many great young stars. But LeBron's the champion. Is that Purvis back in the game? And a tough pull up. Um, Take it away. Here come the Huskies. Purvis to the basket. In straight on from Purvis. Rodney Purvis from the corner. Man, so glad that he was able to survive that experience where it looked like they're going to have to call the ambulance when he got here to Maui. And it was so kind. Dead Mike. And a big three for Rodney Purvis. Their names on the back of their jerseys. Again from D. Rodney Purvis. Wow. Now we gym history. I'm going to assign you to look that up. I'm very busy here, please. I'm in here. This is a great basketball program. And they got all they could handle from Chaminade as Purvis continues to sizzle from the outside. From yesterday, this is another level. Slow start for the Huskies, forcing Kevin Ollie to take an early timeout as Rodney Purvis from the top. And From deep, the three is short from Rodney Purvis. That's designed to force turnover no, to speed up the game. It's to speed up the game and to take the other team completely out of their rhythm. Rodney Purvis drains a three. Rodney Purvis from long range. Amita Brimer. Rodney Purvis from way behind the line. Ahead for Ennis, broken up by Rodney Purvis. And he looks to attack. Whoa. Connecticut's going to get back into this game. Standing around in the perimeter. Rodney Purvis with two on the shot clock. The difference between last year and this year. Rare turnover by Casey Benson. And Purvis lays it in. Not being able to finish. Rodney Purvis That's a big time gets the roll, plus one. In one of the great shooting exhibitions ever in the history of, of sports. Who won? For Chris Boucher. They might want to guard him. Purvis 
lays it in. Rodney Purvis. Beautiful. And the follow. Stephen Enoch rams it back in. Nice advancements for the future. Thank you, Phil and Penny. Rodney Purvis. Whoa. From but Jalen is at his best when he's on the fly. Rodney Purvis missing a three. I've been shooting, and so uh, Joe Jones looking to make some changes. Rodney Purvis putting it on the deck over Chetty Mosley, and it rolls off the front iron. Vance Jackson is checked into the game. He spots Rodney Purvis on the left side, and Purvis rattles it in his first bucket of the game. And Durham, number 23, the freshman is checked in, and Stephen Enoch is back in as well. Rodney Purvis from way downtown. Stay focused. Gary? Well, Boston University out-rebounded Connecticut so far, 12-5 to in the game. There's Rodney Purvis attacking. Got to the rim, but couldn't finish. And Giving it up for Vital. There's Vance Jackson. He's a shooter, but he gave it up. Rodney Purvis attacking. Teardrop will not go down. And Rodney Purvis left wide open, but off the back iron. Good extra pass. Vital to Purvis. Lines it up, but can't finish. Has it rejected by Howard. Or by Durham, I should say. Goodness, the seven-footer trying to be a point guard. Little Euro step, Rodney Purvis, teardrop can't go. Rodney Purvis out of the way. Purvis was there, but just got knocked off balance. Rodney Purvis right back the other way, left wide open. Boston University in that 2-3 zone. There's Purvis sliding it to an open spot. Oh, man -man prison. Is that they have to pay him some money? Yeah, I think you do. I think that's worth at least 10 grand. Purvis up right around the free throw line and then look to the short corner. In the corner for Purvis. The one handed little teardrop will not drop for him. Airborne and can't get that one to fall. No foul over the back. Basie got to it right back to Adams in the lane. And now Purvis launches and he drains a three. Boy, the inside out play, but how about the rebound by Kenton Facey? Ultra talented. He's he's still feeling his way through things and learning. But to have a 6'10 guy that can make that shot consistently, that, that's impressive. Or then when Lighten comes up, there was a 60% foul shooter. It's tied at 17. Jackson with it. Syracuse can't buy a three. And that time Purvis with a miss. But Purvis won't shoot it. He will. Adams skipping back to Purvis at three. He lined it up perfectly, but a misfire. It'll go the other way. And two for two out the line. Well, Kevin Ollie has been telling Rodney Purvis, you know, and it's, it's, he's coming up 26 points against North Florida. He had a victory for the Orange. Here's Purvis trying to answer, and he does. Boy, that's too easy for shooting. So Syracuse off to a very good start here in the second half. Here's Purvis again. Got himself a pretty clean look. Durham on the baseline. White was all over him. Here's Purvis again, and he is chilly. But are kind of the windshield wipers back and forth. Doesn't put a lot of pressure on the defense. This does. Purvis, yes, right through for two. I think he's going to be one of those players that uh, that is just going to get better and better. And he, is, he is so much better than he's played thus far. Purvis with a three. Now back here for Purvis. He's been a hot hand. Purvis way downtown. Yes. Hard to imagine given how bad things looked for the Huskies for so long. It's amazing. The last time they led, it was 1917. And now they're back in front again. Purvis on fire. Ended up their aggressiveness and certainly helped their offense. And Trying now to squeeze out a win. Purvis got it up there, a three-pointer. Adams, remember that amazing shot he hit last year? Here's Purvis. He got it off. He left it short. Since his freshman year, he's a guy I'd rally around. If I'm picking up teams at the Y, he's first. Fadeaway jumper from the free throw line misses. Freeze K because he made plays for his teammates. That's the real zone killer. A pull up three from the top as Purvis drops it from the top of the arc. Beat Syracuse on Monday. You didn't see a real pretty basketball game. Haven't seen one quite yet here, but we have seen UConn stay close to Ohio State. This is what he's doing. It's an incredibly competitive team. 
Catch and shoot. Purvis says he was fading away. Coaches that shoot around. He said that, that experience of testing the waters in the NBA, it's tough for a lot of people because to hedge out too far, he hedges out too far, wide open dunk. That's Rodney Purvis from three, missing short. How to protect your bigs. The second they start to get tired, you gotta look to get them out because that's when they pick up foul. Purvis, the long two, rebounding machine. He was unable to pull that one down though. Potter got it, although it was taken away. And now Purvis is all alone underneath the basket. The American Tournament, setting that game to a fourth overtime. But UConn ended up winning it with Purvis as the shot clock winded down, nine of 10. Purvis in the paint. Hangs up in the air, can't get it to go. For this year for Thompson, now the Buckeyes hope for a stop on defense. Rodney Purvis. Overall, trying for their fourth and five games. Jump shot from Purvis. And Rodney Purvis from three. Games have grinded tonight. It's been back and forth several times. Rodney Purvis. Purvis in the final minute. Purvis stops, hits the three, and falls short. AC coming out to set a high ball screen. From the right corner, Purvis doesn't have it go down. And here, beyond the arc, he's one for four in today's game. From the left corner, Rodney Purvis, too hard off the iron. Absolutely. They've gone on the road. They've had a couple home games against the iron as well. And, you know, they played LSU tough. They played Syracuse. Rodney Purvis. 15-footer on the way, around and out. He is yet to score. Enoch. Purvis, again, there's Rodney Purvis. Finally gets one to go. A lot of credit because, you know, season can go a lot of different ways in attention to Dallas Moore. Rodney Purvis, little up fake. Oh, that's good rhythm. Rock well, Florida playing a little matchup zone at the top. A little one, two, two. Rodney Purvis, high arcing jump shot. Now Rodney Purvis is beginning to feel it. So, the conference will be interesting. UCF is, looks like. <laughs> that makes any coach look good, does it? Not now that Johnny. size. There's Purvis, nice up fake. Purvis. Fingertips of Mustafa Meharan. Back the other way, Rodney Purvis, a quick layup, and he misses it. Rodney Purvis has taken 66 threes this year. That time the lane opens up for a flush. Purvis wanted it, but he didn't get it. And Adams now, tricky dribbles through the key, and now Purvis launches a long three off 23. He's had some knee issues of his own. Now battling to get position down low as Purvis sends it high off the window. With another three, he had back-to-back 27-point -back games. Struggled the other day against Oklahoma. He needs to get something going at the rim. Trying to send a message to some of his younger players about how hard you have to play. I would think that he's trying to get someone to compete at a higher level. Points in almost five minutes. The tail, Purvis sets his feet for a three, comes up short. He's out of their defense, and they're not getting anything out of their defense right now. Primus sets a screen, and that leads to a three-point attempt from the corner, missed by Purvis. Because of those injuries we talked about, they're about eight deep, and that's it. Purvis off balance, long three, pitches a three, that's, that's way a off. bad shot. Purvis may go by himself, one on three. There's the rebound by Facey in the flush. He's got skills with the Z. I like what you're doing there. That's like mad skills? Yeah, like mad skills. They set up Purvis for the jumper, goes in and out. Number Healthy. Does does the entire complexion of UConn and the perception? A couple games early, but yeah, this is will be a different basketball team. You know, everyone said, well, they... Jackson made one good ball flick, then ball flick, then the shot was blocked by Spencer, which sets up a three from game. Vance Jackson's come back in. Purvis, two-pointer. It's good. Wiley in a ball screen every set and the basket. That's basically forcing the throw. Keith, let it come out. Make some sense. A lane violation on Wiley there. Hook up their defense right now. Try to overplay, deny a little bit more. Try to speed Connecticut up without Adams. Purvis, long arcing three that goes off the back of the iron. And he went to the locker room and is yet, yet to return. Purvis, three. Got it. Vance Jackson's a big-time shooter that's not shot it well. 
Purvis three, and that goes over the backboard and out of bounds. Got the finals rematch, Warriors and the Cavs at five. The Bulls, the app, watch ESPN as well. Christmas Day, NBA action on ESPN. To hold on to the ball and score is the mystery. Purvis had a wide open layup. Auburn head coach calls it down the stretch. Hopper not afraid to make a play. Purvis wide open, needs that, and doesn't get it. College coach in the country better besides John Calipari than marketing your program. Patel Purvis, three, that was a set play, and he missed four. And Purvis hits the first. 70% free throw shooter, knocks them both down. And then see that he can get Purvis using his athleticism that has been there before. He's played 42 minutes, and now that's his first three of the game. One for 10, Purvis all the way to the rack block that time. Going away from their basket. There it is, Purvis on the run. He's going to try to turn the corner and attack. It launches the three. No good. Free screen. Three ball, Purvis off the iron. No good. Crisper on the offensive end. You really use the clock to get a good shot. Purvis, natural shooter, launches his first three of the game, and it drops. Way with a little push off. Purvis, pull up. Short. Sampson's been around the block. He's not He's not getting out of this zone. He's not going to go out and chase the guards for Connecticut. He's... Eight on the shot clock. Purvis by Van Beck. Forces it. Blocked by Meyer. Purvis and counting. The free throw line, but his numbers are it's been awful this year from the floor because they're very unselfish. And there's a lot of them that can score. Jackson up top to Purvis, the ball fake. Launches a three, thought he got hit, but no foul called. Even the temples of the world to bang with their front line. And Jackson. We'll go to break with, and he knocks in his first field goal of the game. Ball turned over now and a bad pass. Bounce pass to Purvis who finishes with a flush. Purvis open three, too long. Rob Bean Rob as they say. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, but you have to take the good with the unevenness. Purvis launches a long one. Facey gets it down low, access denied. Big time block right at the rim. That was Colley. That time Purvis gets the roll. Facey gets trapped and he's able to get it to Purvis. The shot clock is at two. He launches a three. Purvis, good move. Can't get it to drop. The taco and a chicken go well, ahead. Hey, maybe. That, that would be fun. I guess we have to talk about something in a 20-point game. But hey, with 20 points right on his season average. Been a rough day for Kenton Facey. Purvis misses another one. I'm up. Here comes UConn. Down one. 7-16 left first half. Rodney Purvis knocks one down. I think Vital needs to get in the habit of distributing a little bit more than scoring. How Purvis about that? Shook the defender, but it crawls out. Not smart. The depth is eight right now for UConn. Shot clock at six. Purvis from way out. Screen Prima. Shot clock at seven. Purvis on Wheeler. Pulls up. Rattles out. Action. Last season, what a pass to Facey by Adams, but nothing doing. Facey wasn't ready. Uh, Purvis left it short on a three, rebounded, blocked by Prima. <laughs> <laughs> Purvis, oh. other end, lays it home. Taplin commits his first. Free throw good for Rodney Purvis. And the other way around. Shot clock at five for Adams. Purvis with three. Where will the offense come from? Well, so far, it's all perimeter. Purvis drills one. Hip against this. Prima trying to get position. E2 defending well. Shot from outside, spins out. Purvis against Pat Bird. Takes him off the dribble. Purvis too strong. 11 seconds to play. Jalen Adams. Kick, Purvis, corner. Not there. The Huskies have been in most of their losses, mm -hmm. including two of the last three, which were overtime losses.
Rodney Purvis, the team's second leading scorer, can connect. Lawson continues to guard Bryba. Here's Rodney Purvis over Crawford for three. Absolutely. They, they want to make sure they execute, get good looks. Because normally bad shots, that's usually the first pass to the other team's fast break. <laughs> Shot clock inside of 10. And here is Adams. Good ball rotation for a Purvis three. The defensive challenge able to put the ball in the basket. Purvis off the glass. And if they can get half the teams, almost half their teams in the NCAA tournament, that's saying something. Purvis late in the clock gets it was there for a shot block. He didn't have to move either. Exactly. It was an opportune time for the shot block as Purvis flips it up. Rivers is out now with two fouls from Memphis. Purvis takes a three. That's in and out. The threes kind of avail themselves. They're able to take it. Tough take by Purvis, and Markel Crawford has led the way for the Tigers, leading all scores with 17. Purvis around and out on the three. Game against Tulsa. Is that 74 minutes now over the course of the last couple of games? Purvis off target. Written all over that young man, not only for this year. For the first time fully. There was only 10 games last year for K.J. Lawson. They, they won it for the most part, but also the athleticism, and you see it come out defensively particularly. Good job by Purvis on a tough shot. Ten for the rebound. Largest lead has been 19. There you go. Yeah, that was a good look. That gives Memphis its largest lead at 20, capping off the three-point play. Purvis from the outside hits a three, his second of the night. Jalen Adams, he's got Martin guarding him. Purvis steps out. That one got short. Happy he didn't settle for yeah. that jumper right there. Well, they could use an inside touch here. Purvis, tough shot. Can't get it to go. Oh, three. Well, he checked for him, I would think. <laughs> Adams to Purvis, controls it, and lays it in with contact. Best to win of the season RPI-wise. Purvis, the only Husky in double figures. Has 14 points on eight shots tonight. Purvis for three. Rebound. Big night for Brima. 14 rebounds for Amita Braima. That is a career high tonight for him. Purvis has been in a shooting slump when he throws up a three and hits it. Adams whips it in the corner. I'll tell you what, right now, UConn is rolling. Rodney Purvis. Adams probing. Purvis down the lane with the right hand and Brown. A rare spot and rest for him. Purvis, good to see him back in, and he finishes on the break. From watching the first nine minutes of this ball game, Purvis leaving his feet and getting that cone of verticality treatment. Purvis, wow, you caught him. And Jalen Adams, after struggling his freshman season, not only have to score but lead this team. Purvis misses a corner. Jackson. Facey finds Purvis. Stretched hand to fall, which, oh yeah, by the way, he can touch the top side of the rim without leaving his feet. Purvis with a right hand. Brahma move his hands. That's what Johnny Dawkins told us. There, there are things that he can only learn in games, not in practice. Yeah. Dawkins, who was at Michigan, that is a loose ball. Batal Purvis with a layup. Jackson with a shot coming down. Got to get it up. Purvis does. And out of the timeout. Purvis step back. That's a two. And he got it. Ten on the shot clock. Here's Purvis for three. And we are tied at eight here in the first half. Purvis another three, and this one is good. Last game against East Carolina, so if they can get a little bit more out of Williams, that's going to help tremendously. Season high 13 for Williams in that win over ECU. Trying to build off that tonight against Temple. Brima back in the game, hands off to Purvis, cuts into the paint, puts up a shot, and he gets the roll. The thing I took away from that was that Kenny Facey won the opening tip yes, against Taco right. Fall. How does he lose an opening tip? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh... Attack the rim. So if he wants to get some more looks and get involved, he's going to have to get things that are active. Butchered so many times, I can't even tell you what the what the worst one of it. 
Three to shoot. Alani Moore had it knocked away. Play on. Purvis, look out! By double digits. That is incredible. That's ridiculous. It really is. Let me tell you something. Harry Peretta, who's the women's coach at Villanova, is in his like. Five minutes gone by, second half. Purvis comes off the screen, 18-footer. Last season in Hartford. Purvis had 17 in that game. And he hits that jump shot from mid-range. He's a heady, heady young man. Baseline Purvis again, and he knocks down the triple from the corner permanently. Vance Jackson, Purvis, he's feeling it, 16 off the heel. Dead body on the block. Erickson had that big 26-point game against Providence two games back. Purvis in and out. Three-point shot. Facey across the lane. Baseline Purvis rising fire. Just but you kind of at 50% right now because they get excellent ball movement. Purvis. That time just being having the presence there for his Mosley. Inside. And Purvis unable to lay it down. As Facey just plucks it out. Purvis to and jam. Now, here comes Adams. Diagonal pass wide open. Purvis. Adams has been brilliant. Adams hands it off. Purvis frees himself. Close at home against Maryland. Similar situation against Xavier. Purvis 